There's a lot of those films that you try to watch today, and you go, Jesus, I don't know if you could ever do this. Like, there's so many films that you try to watch today. Like, I just watched Super Bad the other day. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm like, man, I don't even know, know if you could do Super Bad today. And that's not even that long ago. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't believe in that kind of statement because the thing about it is, I think that statement is a kind of um, self fulfilling prophecy. Mm-hmm. If you say it's going to be a problem, it's going to be a problem. All right. Because it comes with usually the idea, well, I don't know if they would let you do that. Well, who the fuck is they? Well, you say that as yeah. Quentin Tarantino, but uh-huh. if you're Quentin Tarantino in 1991, well, okay, yeah. Well, I'm Quentin Tarantino in 1991 doing Reservoir Dogs, coming off of the 80s, right. which was the decade of they won't let you do that. That's true. And I remember, like, okay, for instance, I'll give I'll give you an example. So I'm working at Video Archives, and now, by the way, that whole horrible time. And by the way, we're going through the 80s part two, right now. Right except now. That, except there's more of a McCarthy-esque blacklist aspect to it than, mm-hmm. than was in the 80s. The, ed- the 80s seemed very, people were doing it to themselves. Where here is, no, no, people are doing it to you. Mm. Um, but I remember, okay, so in the 80s, this is only happening in America. In the other countries, they were making bold, wild cinema. The Hong Kong movies were off the fucking chart. Uh, Pedro o- Omotovar was like making his wild sex comedies. Amazing. Anyway, so Pedro Almodovar had a movie called Matador with Antonio Banderas that came out. Very funny movie. The movie starts, the opening credits, is a guy sitting in a chair in his living room with his pants down around his ankles, and he's jerking off. And what he's jerking off to are the most bloody, violent scenes in in slasher movies. (laughs) He's got like all his favorite moments from slasher movies uh, of women getting murdered, all cut together, and he's jerking off. And that's the opening credits. And it's just like, there was like so nothing like that available in America. They're like, oh my God, this is the wildest shit ever, man. This is amazing. And so I remember I'm like sitting at video archives and I'm saying, well, I want to do shit like that when I'm making movies. And then one of the guys said, well, they won't let you, Quentin. And my answer was, well, who's they? Who are they to tell me what I can and can't do, can or cannot do? And at the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding. I never let they stop me. I did what I wanted to do. And by doing what I wanted to do, we changed the 90s. Mm. The 90s stopped being politically correct. And all of a sudden, like in one year, Reservoir Dogs, El Mariachi, uh, Man Bites Dog, uh, uh, Romeo is bleeding. I mean, all these like wild, uh, ir- you know, wild, ironic, violent movies started coming out that just didn't exist in 1989. It's mm, so true. And then, like, then comes seven. And then, I mean, yeah. you know, it's like we built a bridge and then everyone followed it. Everyone went over the bridge. 